Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, uh, Pastor Joen. The Lord has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah spoke with me uh, today in the morning about the historic meeting that is coming up to Nakuru, the super mega revival meeting of the Lord that is coming up in Nakuru. See a very huge gathering. I see a historic gathering of people. And uh, I want your listeners to know that uh, the Lord has continued to speak with me about the healing, the great healing that is going to take place there. And uh, there is this little baby I see. I think it's a girl, a baby girl, that the Lord heals and begins to walk. And this becomes very wild. Everything becomes wild in the meeting. People begin to run up and down. Celebrations break out. And I see the mother carrying the baby. And then uh, she finally releases the baby. The baby to walk towards me. I see the baby walking on the grass, you know. And uh, this uh, crippled baby walks. And then everything breaks loose. I see many, many, many other healings that take place across the entire place. Massive, tremendous healing of the Lord. Uh, the, the cripples whose legs will be strengthened. And this particular baby now the Lord is showing me. Uh, it's a baby girl, and the mother was carrying the baby and then uh, walks with the baby on the grass. He walks with the baby on the grass now, and all this takes place there in a very historic way, in a very big way. All this is happening in that meeting. The blind eyes will open in that meeting. A lot of cripples, a lot of blind, a lot of deaf, a lot of mute that the Lord will open their tongues and release their tongues. They'll be able to speak for the first time. And also paralytics, those who are paralytics, you know, the Lord again is going to be able to help them, to strengthen them and restore them. So I see many crutches and stretchers and wheelchairs that are abandoned and the white cane of the blind. And uh, he's going to dry wounds. He's going to heal broken hips and uh, broken knees, broken ankles broken skulls, weak necks, broken necks, broken ribs, all the broken bones will be restored and made whole. And he's going to also bring a stop to the bleeding diseases and dry up the wounds and dry up the cancers and the tumors also. And he may set his people free so they may worship him and prepare for the coming of the Messiah. I also see in there, at the same time, the healing of internal organs, people with kidneys, who are not able to sustain their lives, to give them life in this life. The Lord is going to restore them so they may not revisit dialysis in the hospitals and many, many other conditions, the tumors that will dissolve, even psychosis, people that are mentally unstable, the Lord will restore them. In this mighty conversation this night, I have seen the historic healing of the Lord, many, many, many cripples walking. It is out of control. The Lord showed me the meeting. When the cripples begin to walk, it runs out of control in this dream. And people are running up and down. The wheelchairs are lifted. The crutches are lifted up. The, 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 the different aluminum metals that they use for walking, for the spinal cord injuries, the broken backs, broken hips. So this is going to be a meeting like none other. There is no other meeting that we've seen that will resemble this meeting. And that's why it is very important and prudent for all people, all nations, all languages, all tongues to prepare and begin their journey towards Nakuru. Nakuru is going to be the big melting point now. It's going to be the center of nerve, the nerve center, nerve activity. It's going to be the nerve center of the activity of the Lord on the earth at this time. And there's going to be a gathering of people, the number I cannot tell. We don't know whether there are 7 million, there are 10 million, only the Lord can tell. Those that gather physically there. And I see that in this same meeting, the Lord, as He heals the people, there will be a big joy, a big blessing of joy, a tremendous joy. People will be so happy as the Lord, He opens heaven in this meeting. Now, all these things take place at this time. Because these are the moments, this is the hour at which the Lord said he would bring a full restoration to the church and restoration to the nations as the Messiah is about to.
to come and take the holy church. Again, this talks about the return to righteousness, the return to absolute holiness, the need for repentance in the hearts of the Christians again, that people may repent and turn away from sin and embrace righteousness, that when the Lord comes for the church, they may now enter the eternal, glorious, non-ending kingdom of God, where there will be no pain, there will be no disease, there will be no divorce, there will be no anxiety, no unemployment. All the problems of this life will have been defeated on that day when time will have surrendered and the Messiah returns for the church. So this is the conversation I saw this night. I see this particular baby, the baby girl, the mother was carrying the baby, totally crippled, and the baby begins to walk in the meeting. And then a huge historic healing anointing breaks out, and many, many cripples walk in that meeting. So this is going to be a time like none other in the history of the church. And let people repent. I'm aware that there's a historic uh, the baptism revival that has broken out across the nation. I'm aware that people are being baptized every day in thousands. Togomin, ICM, in Nairobi, they baptized 1,800 this past weekend. And everything is now revival, 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 and a return to righteousness. I know that people from the United States of America are tuned in. People from Mexico are tuned in. People are tuned in from New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand, from Gisborne, New Zealand. They're tuned in from Virginia. They're tuned in from Finland. They're tuned in from uh, Helsinki, from Gothenburg, from Malmo in Sweden, from Stockholm. They're tuned in from uh, also Beijing and Shanghai, China, and many cities in China, Oolong province, and many, many other cities of the greater nation of China, and also in India and all of Africa, from Nigeria, Lagos, all the way down to Namibia, Vinhok, and also Botswana, uh, Haberone, and the cities of South Africa, and all over the world, really, South America, we are talking Santiago, Chile, we are talking Brazil, from Brasilia, all the way to Campo Grande, uh, and many other cities, Sao Paulo, Rio, but for all the nations and the islands that are tuned in, the message is very simple, that these are the days when the Lord is visiting the church, and is visiting the nations, and so blessed are those that will begin to hearken to the message of righteousness and turn away from sin. Morality, the immoral dressing of women that you see today, this heedlessness, this lack of the fear of God. Because the Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28, however, from verse 20 down to 28, Job 28, 20 to 28, he celebrates the great treasure that the Lord attaches to the fear of God. And he calls it wisdom. He says, behold, it is the fear of God that is wisdom. So this is essentially an announcement to the nations that if there is any hour at which the people of this earth should live in the fear of God, that this is the hour. And that fear of God, he says, is the translation. It translates into wisdom. Because you remember so well the Lord says, that only the wise church gets to enter into the glorious kingdom of God. And that can only tell us that only the church that lives in the fear of the Lord gets to see the eternal kingdom of God. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. I have seen the church he takes, a holy and glorious church. And so this is yet another uh, ministration of the love of God, that an event decreed, to be sacred, to be hidden by the wisdom, the counsel of God, that in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, without notice, now he can bring forth these announcements earlier, that all people, even those unprepared, may be given the opportunity to be a willing people, to be a repentant people, to prepare for the glorious coming of the Lord. All these things you see on the earth, they will come to an end. The Messiah is coming for a holy church. That's why he's showing me this tremendous historic healing of cripples, crippled babies, blind babies, mute babies, deaf babies, paralytics, cancers, tumors, in this meeting that is coming up in Nakuru. These miracles, these visitation trumpets, it, it, it evangelizes, 
and announces the glorious coming of the Messiah. So may all those that have ears hearken to the words of the Lord, that this may be substantive gain in their salvation, that they may make real gains in their Christian lives, that when the Messiah comes, they be found to be holy. Remember the Bible says, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless the nations that are coming. May the Lord bless the many, many, many nations I've seen gathered carrying their flags. And right now we are talking huge numbers of countries that are coming from all over the earth. Many, many nations. I've seen you already. The Lord has shown me the meeting. May the Lord bless Kenya also. The many, many people that are repenting right now, preparing their families, preparing their churches, preparing their children, preparing their husbands, their wives, preparing their households for the glorious visitation of the Lord. These are the times in which it is really beautiful to be a Christian because many, many Christians lived and died without ever hearing this announcement that the Messiah is coming. Now, the coming of the Messiah is going to be one irretrievable day, one irreversible day. So blessed will be the people and the nation that hearken to these words and prepare in earnest. And that preparation is none other than the return to purity, the return to holiness, the return to righteousness, the rejection of sin. Shalom, shalom, Averim. The Lord bless you. Erev Tov.